Hey guys, today I want to show you something a little different, something I don't usually uh, deal with, and that is inserts on struts. Hondas and the other stuff that we've been playing with doesn't don't use them, but there's a lot of manufacturers out there that when you go to replace your strut uh, on the front of your suspension, uh, they don't replace the whole strut. They make what are called inserts, and uh, they can be a little bit uh, deceiving as to how this works. So I'm just going to run it down for you. Basically, I'm not, I didn't even show you how to take the strut off because, I mean, it's really simple. It's the two bolts at the bottom, the top one being your alignment bolt, and then, you know, your, your plate at the top, you know, that bolts into here. Uh, then you run the nut off to get the spring off. You should use a spring compressor to put it back on because it's a little bit tight. I usually just run them right off and let everything fly a little bit. It doesn't go far. But I'm putting coilovers on this here, so I'm not put. I don't need a, coil, a compressor to put that back on. But here's how the inserts work. So I've already knocked this loose, but there's a threaded collar here on the top, and when you unthread this, take that off. There's going to be fluid and everything running out of here because these are not an insert from the factory. These are an actual strut, but you'll drain the fluid out, and basically then. Let me uh, try to do this two-handed here. You'll pull out the guts of the old strut. As such, like I said, fluid's going to come out stinky and nasty. Drain out all your leftover fluid. And that's your old shock assembly. Now, what these companies have done is they've come up with a pretty ingenious way to give you new shocks. Um, I just need a rag here quick to give you new shocks without having to replace the cost and everything of this whole strut. And that is an insert. And uh, here's a, a KYB insert. You see it actually looks somewhat like a strut. It's a whole piece. It actually will fit right down inside of there. And then they give you this shim for the top that you'll simply slide down over and when inserted right, there we go, click. That stops the strut from being able to move at all. And then we just take our threaded sleeve we removed. This, torque it back down as tight as we can get her. And voila, you now have a brand new strut without replacing the entire strut, just the insert. Now, like I said, a lot of manufacturers do this. Um, not all, but if you ever come across the term inserts for your front struts, now you'll know what they mean by it. And uh, that's why when you buy the box and you get everything, you're like, hey, that don't look like my front strut. That's why, you gotta put it inside your old tube. That's it, I hope this helps some of you guys uh, with the confusion of this if you ever run across it.